storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. People, we got to come and talk about Christian Obumseli. All right, but he wanted to go by Toby. Now, why this man wanted to go by the main character in the slave movie, I would never understand. But it just goes to show how it is definitely ironic. You know, Toby was the name that was forced upon that African by a white man. And Toby here, you know, ended up getting killed at the hands of a white woman that came from a white man who's going to get off by a white man because ultimately she is is a white woman and he was looked at as nothing but a nigga with money let's keep it real christian obum Selly had a history of going out of his way to disrespect black women and talk shit on black women and black girls and black titties is worse than white titties and black girls this and black girls that and the doctor would like to know but i mean i guess we can't ask him from the dead but we would like to know what was the obsession with women that you say that you don't like that's one thing I've never understood about people. The doctor truly don't get it. I am a peopleologist, but maybe I need another motherfucking degree to understand why people go out of their way to let you know that they hate something. If I hate something, I don't talk about it. I don't look at it. I don't even put it in. I don't even put it in my environment. I just stick to what I like. And if you liked it, it this white girl so much, then I'm trying to understand why we should have any sympathy or why should we, why, why should we even care if she gets off? I can't bring him in my script in my office and write him no script. He dead. He's dead as fuck at the hands of his master. So what? Oh, I'm sorry. Only fans model because, you know, when the white girls do it, they're a model. When your black ass do it, you a hoe mm -hmm. and, and, and you going to die alone and ain't nobody going to ever love you after. But anyway, you know, I'm just saying. Black women, y'all are truly the blueprint. That's just what it is. I, I don't know why nobody want to call it that, but the doctor going to say the shit what it is. So I can't bring him into my office for no script you know right now we don't know if he's in heaven hell or purgatory or if he's at heaven gates and lord knows you don't want god to write you no script because that may <laughs> it may be something you don't want to fulfill but that script is for eternity now moving to this white bitch here she stabbed him up and now videos is coming out showing that you know she was doing it for her safety and she feared for her life and she was abused and this and that and i still go back to say why should we care he did not like black women he didn't give a damn about it he didn't like himself he chose to go by a slave name he, he, he chose to surround himself with a uh with a white girl that was disrespecting him because a white girl's disrespect is still better than a black girl's love i guess i'm just saying I'm just saying, a lot of these niggas' problems is that they want something that don't match their vibration. This couple don't even look right. Y'all know, and y'all know I don't mind no interracial love. I'm for interracial love. But they don't even match each other's swag. Why he didn't want him no nice African girl from back home? Why he didn't want something that matched him? He went and got something that would have never looked at him if he didn't have a little piece of a condo in Miami. You know, that's how every nigga that make it in Miami live. They have a Lambo and a condo and a white girl. That's what it is. That's what it is. The man that's from the Red Bill community sure as hell avoided this story. They didn't say shit about this. Don't y'all notice that? They talked about this, the black senator that was twerking. They ain't talk about that other white senator that did that horrible sex tape. Don't make no sex tape if, if your penis is small. I'm just saying, don't do it. And you can't fuck. Don't do it. It's horrible. But anyway, they ain't say shit about that. And they ain't say shit about this. They avoided this story like the play. If anything, this is what you want to talk to your men about that watch you. So, y'all may be mad at me. I don't know. But I'm going to just say, I'm not writing her no script. She was who she was. From the moment he met her, she disrespected him all up and through their relationship. She was not, I mean, she was fit, but she damn sure really wasn't feminine or friendly. I mean, don't let us say masculinity. Like stabbing your ass up and beating your ass over the course of your relationship. So, you know, she might have been fit, but she wasn't feminine. She wasn't friendly. She damn sure wasn't submissive. And he stuck around because he felt like he was better. And so he got what he got. So the only script I can write for her, I'm actually going to write a letter to the judge. And we actually going to plead for her to actually get back out and for her to do her. Hell. She showed who she was from the beginning. There, there's no script to write for her. Y'all may be mad that there's no script to write. There's no script to write. She was who she was. She didn't hide none of it. And he went along for the ride and he got a prize that he wasn't expecting. I'm sorry he did, but it is what it is. Uh, it's a storm show. Hey, it's a storm show.